And I'm very, very happy to be joined now by the Minister from Nigeria, Mrs. Desiani Allison Madwike. Thank you so much, Madam, for taking the time to join us. Now, um, we've come to the end of the year pretty much, and one thing that all of the ministers are talking about, it's been a tough year dealing mainly with the uncertainties in the market. But we look at the end of the year and the OPEC, the price for Brent crude will probably average about $112 for the year. So it, it hasn't been that bad, actually. You've managed to get through well. I think so. I think we've all been surprised um, that the, the price of crude has maintained these levels, I think, um, unprecedented in the history of uh, crude oil prices. Having said that, it's also been offset, as you know, um, by a lot of the situations in the global economies, particularly in Europe. Um, and we're looking at that very carefully. The non-oil, um, the, the, the non-OPEC countries are also producing quite um, progressively. So coming into 2013, I think it has been a general consensus that um, we must balance it out by rolling over our production uh, caps and ensuring that by doing so we keep a certain stability in the market. And ultimately, I mean, that is what OPEC has always said they will do. And we're looking at a time when there's plenty of supply on the market right now. Um, some might say a danger of oversupply, but we haven't. They've been saying that for a few months and we haven't actually seen any issues with regards to that. I think it's because of that, exactly that, that we've been quite conservative and simply rolled over uh, the cap to ensure that we don't go overboard either way. But we've also made it clear that we would be very quick to respond to any changes um, in the dynamics of the marketplace at this point in time. When you look ahead for next year, for 2013, where do you see the big challenges that uh, all of the ministers need to be looking very carefully at? Well, I think that, um, as was discussed today, um, it will clearly uh, be the fact that um, the non-OPEC countries are producing quite a lot and that that's increasing um, even as we speak. You know, so there's that. There's also, of course, the fact that the U.S. and the shale production is also progressing steadily. And again, that will, be, it will have a major impact on uh, the OPEC, OPEC production quotas as well. It's a good thing, but at the same time it affects the OPEC uh, quotas in a, an adverse uh, manner. So we're looking at all that and looking at the balance um, between all of them. Tell me how are things going in your own country? I know you've been very busy with the petroleum bill and that has been progressing. Um, any sign of that uh, coming into to law? Well, it's already gone through the second uh, reading uh, in the uh, House of Representatives, the lower chamber. The, um, the Senate will be looking at it early in January. However, there is still ongoing concern by the multinationals, the uh, international oil companies, and also some of the independents on the fiscal regimes that cover the production sharing contracts, where government take has been increased uh, quite a bit. I think, for the first time in a long time. And we are still in ongoing discussions with them to try and ensure that, if it is possible, we meet a little more closely uh, than we have so far, whilst uh, the bill is being passed through the National Assembly. And production in your country, are you happy with production levels at the moment? Are you hoping that we might see a bit more increase in the year to come? Well, we've had a few um, issues, particularly with the unprecedented flooding. Uh, which has happened and which affected uh, some of our production. There were also a couple of incidents with major pipelines, a fire in one and vandalization in another uh, that caused a drop, but it's already beginning to stabilize. So again, we think that um, by the first quarter next year, we will be fully back on track with that.